scarcity of it. We decided to take the lessons learned from that program and make a slightly more everyday usable version of it. Similar performance, very close to performance, but with a usable luggage space and a little bit more creature comfort. So we decided let's make uh, this time 25 of these cars. And we announced that last Geneva, and only 10 months later they were all gone, which was the uh, fastest sales we have had in Koenigsegg like, history. We are a very small company, of course, so 25 cars for us is a substantial number.
when we took the decision not too long ago to make this series, we sold those three cars in three days. And that's it for the Aguera. We will not make any more. That's the range. This is the first one of the three. There are two left to be built that will be built during the end of this year, early next year. So gentlemen, please. So if we start from the front, it has a, a big front diffuser to match the increased uh, rear wing on the rear. As you can see, the rear wing has a resemblance of the RS, but it's now top mounted similarly to the 121, but a little bit lower mechanism to make it a little bit more discreet. Uh, and we've added a second element to the wing to increase downforce to match the larger front splitter. On the front, we have three winglets to match the three winglets air guides on the rear of the car, visually and functionally. And we have three side winglets on the car. All in all, this car produces very close to the same amount of downforce as the one to one, but it maintains the front luggage space. It is a little bit less downforce, but very, very close to the one to one. It has a detached, therefore, a detachable hard cup that can also be stowed in the front, which is unique for this high downforce setup, given that it's around 500 kilos of downforce in this car. Again, all active systems. If we look uh, on the back of the car, uh, while the wing is unique, the roof scoop is unique to this car with this uh, beak going forward. Uh, the mesh on the rear here, here, and here is with the Koenigsegg logo as an air outlet. We have an extra air outlet here on the side only for this car. And then we have adjustable wings in the Venturi to set uh, the downforce level of the Venturi for each given track. And then to top it off, there is a unique titanium exhaust only for this car. Then there are unique interior features with a new uh, aluminium coating which is uh, fully uh, polished and bespoke fittings for the customer with a unique installation of six-point uh, safety harness in combination with a normal belt. It also has the one megawatt engine that runs on biofuel. So this is also the specification chosen by the customer in my minutest detail. So what we have over here is the first production Regera. It is becoming, after the Geneva Motor Show, the factory demo car, which we will drive customers and journalists. It's production number zero, we can say. It's the one after the prototype we showed here last year. Last year was a very exciting year. Uh, we came here with a completely unproven concept and a quite wild idea in the car industry, especially in the sports car industry, with the idea to remove the gearbox completely from the car, from the weight of the car, from the experience of the car. And this is quite a bold step because shifting gears is very closely tied to the experience of a sports car. I had an idea that there are other uh, emotions and benefits that can be had without shifting gears and they will compensate for the lack of fun shifting gears. When we came here last year, we didn't know what to expect in the reaction, but the reaction was enormous. We took our first orders around the show, especially on the show, but the demand and interest was higher than anticipated. So, spurred by this interest, we ran quickly into the development and testing of the prototype, and we've been running it now for a year in warm condition, cold conditions, the snow, our test track, really pushing it to the limit to see what it can do. And it's meeting and exceeding the performance expectations and the emotional expectations. I can tell you, when you floor this thing, the last thing you think about is, oh, I want to shift here. You have to focus on holding your foot down and having the courage to keep on doing so. At the same time, it is a, a sweetheart around town. There is no shifting. The smoothest shift you can have is no shift. It's perfect around town. First of all, it has a turning circle of 11 and a half to 12 meters, which is very good for such a car. It has a hydraulic ride height system, active again dampening system. You can set this car up to be more comfortable suspension-wise than your normal sedan. And the drive plane is silky smooth and responsive. 
absolutely the opposite of nervous. But as soon as you floor it, you can spin those tires in the dry if you turn off the traction control from 0 to 280 kilometers per hour continuously. Over that point, we cannot spin the tires. Then, compared to the first prototype, this car is very similar, technically. Every little part is enhanced and productionalized. We've done 3,000 changes since last year's prototype. But everything is similar. It's about making it mass, not mass producible, but producible. Uh, making it more serviceable, uh, obtainable, uh, and uh, also lighter. We actually managed to make this car about 50 kilos lighter than the prototype, mostly due to even more extreme battery technology. We managed to save 50 kilos of weight in the battery alone. Here we're talking about a battery pack that weighs 90 kilograms that we can draw over 500 kilowatts from momentarily. That's unheard of. It usually takes five, 600 kilos of battery pack to do so with around 80 to 100 uh, kilowatt hours. We don't need more than four and a half. We actually have, if I remember correctly, around seven in, in the prototype, so we reduced the kilowatt hours because we can anyway draw full power and regen much more than before. So last year we said that you can drive at least a tank full of petrol around, for example, numbering before you run out of battery and you have to recharge. With this technology, you have the same amount of uh, battery charge level every lap you go around. And when you run out of fuel, you just fill up and you keep on going. There is no need to charge the car due to the massive regen capability of this battery pack. We can, when, when you're driving, for example, around a racetrack and you, you're full throttle and you start lifting off, we're not lifting off the throttle of the engine. We're letting go of the power of the electrical motors first. And then we charge as much as we can in that instance until you back off so much that you have to start to go to the throttle body still with maximum charge. So given the fact that a car like this can never be floored around a racetrack like for example Limerick all the time, we have so many opportunities to charge along the way also during of course braking and that kind of regen uh, situation. Uh, what we will see here also in the production version is a new center console uh, with improved buttons. I will also demonstrate the auto skin function on the car. This is the world's first fully robotized car body. There are cars with automatic tailgates, there are cars with automatic doors, even though not, not very common, getting a little bit more common now. But there are not many cars that are also automatic in the front moment, and especially not this type of car. Usually these systems are connected with the great weight penalties. And people have a hard time believing me when I say the weight penalty here is around 5 kilos. And we thought that it was worth it. The reason why it's only 5 kilos is because we anyway have the hydraulic pump, the accumulator, the controller for the hydraulic system. We merely replaced the gas ruts in the doors in the rear bonnet and in the, uh, in the front bonnet with very tiny lightweight hydraulic actuators with super lightweight hoses instead of uh, cables and things like that. So the weight penalty is really not more than 5 kilos. And the added flexibility and benefit that you don't have to slam your doors, you don't have to touch them and grease them up, and it gives this very smooth sensation getting in and out of the car. It was really worth it. So I think it's time, oh, one more thing before we unveil it. So we're only doing 80 of these cars. Uh, we've, since last year, we're doing that over five years. Since last year's, last year, we've taken 30 down payments, more than 30 down payments. And we're expecting before the end of this show to have sold more than half of them. So it's a very, very good start for us as well. Please.
coming. <laughs>